morning subscribers and randos. It is our third month on the homestead. Third month? End of May. June, July, August. Third month. A couple things. I don't know what happened to some of our footage that I had, but it's missing. So I'm doing some things differently. I haven't posted a video in a little bit because I was doing a video editing software trial for three months and it ran out and it, it was really expensive. So I've been sitting trying to figure out if I'm actually going to buy it or not. Finally decided that it's worth the investment. But that remains to be seen, of course. I only have just under 100 subscribers and I'm not very good at posting on time and figuring out how to get more. If you have any tips or tricks, feel free to comment below. Second thing is, our newest homestead animal will be joining us in a couple of weeks. If you are on my Facebook page and you're a friend, you know what this animal is already. But if you don't know what it is, feel free to guess below. Maybe I already have said what it is. No, I don't think I have said. But yes, this animal will be joining us soon. And I am so, so excited. I don't think I've ever been this excited in my whole life. What else has been going on here? Basically, we've been caring for the chickens. And by we, I mean my son. My son loves to care for the chickens. Just every morning. I'm not even out of bed. He's already let them all out and checked their waters and feeders. Do they all go in? Mm -hmm. That door is broken. Next. Look at my janky stuff, man. I need to put up a real roosting bar. <laughs> yep. They're all there? Good night, chickens. And believe me, this is my dream. This homestead is my dream, so I haven't put that on him. You know what I mean? Like I've said, if you want to help, go ahead and help. And if you don't want to help, don't. It's not your dream, it's my dream. And uh, he's decided that it's his dream too. So he's been really great at helping. And we've been doing some inside projects. Kaylin's been doing all of our paint projects in the cabin because it's enclosed. So like, I mean, it's dirty in there, but no outside dust, and we have a lot of dust to get inside. We ready to bring this table inside, Kaylin? Yay! Yay! You have wicker chairs, too. And oh, we're done too. What's that? It's big. Stay for the floor. Oh, it looks so much better, Mommy. Doesn't look so much better than that tan color. Here's the bottom of our table, and it looks so good, Kaylin. And there's my wicker what? chairs. Dang. Well, I'm gonna move the wicker chairs over there first. Hex, yeah. You're the light, but the stars don't find you. Fill it up, fill it up, go on, rock it, my ship. Shoot it up, shoot it up, in space, it down. Oh, 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 oh. Baba, boopy. Shoot it up, shoot it up, bitch, face a damn kid Bottoms up, bottoms up, face it, so I did I feel so bright at the bottom of the eye Got a bad feeling, got a bad feeling, shut up I 
I've been canning some chicken broth this week. The garden, don't get me started. This is my pathetic garden. I mean, look at all these weeds. And I just don't have the energy to keep it, you know, completely weed free because it's just, I mean, they grow like two inches a day and hundreds of them a day. So yeah, I give up on that, but check out the tomatoes. They're just going nuts. It's awful. There's weeds everywhere. And that's just a, like a regional difference. Back in Kansas City, I didn't have this many weeds. Like, just mulched it, and that was the end of it. I plucked a weed or two every now and again. Here, no, no, no. That doesn't work. They pop up like daisies. Like, through the mulch. Like, oh, thank you for giving me mulch. I shall flourish here and, you know, kill all the rest of your sustenance. We finished the garden fence. I've gotten advice about the goat fence, which is going to go through these woods back here. And maybe I might change my mind and try to give them a bigger pasture. I'm not really sure how many goats I want to have yet, and I'm not really sure how much room they're going to need. But basically I'm going to fence in a half acre for them, but we have like a three acre pasture with its barbed wire and electric wire, and it might be able to keep them in, but it's it was meant for cows, and cows are big, they can't squeeze or anything, so I don't think that that's going to be an option for goats. We're fixing up the goat barn. I'm going to clean out the goat barn, and we are going to start preparing for that in case we have the funds to buy some next season. Hi, kitty kitty. Hi, kitty kitty. Who's a pretty girl? Who's my pretty girl? Hi, baby. Oh, you're so beautiful. You're so sweet. In case I didn't mention this before, I took her to get spayed, discovered she was spayed already. And she bit the vet tech because she was scared, huh? That was scary. They're poking you with the big needles. This is Jane. So yeah, but she got a rabies shot and she's already spayed. And I feel so bad for her because she was obviously taken to the vet before and she doesn't have owners anymore. We'll be your family, huh? Did Maverick feed you? No? Oh, I'll get that boy. Mostly we've been just clearing trees. Clearing trees, garden fence, planning for goat fence, canning stuff, working inside, and building a tree house. Because I can. I haven't been working on the garden fence. It's because if I don't want to do something. I do something fun instead until I feel good enough to go do the project I don't want to do. So there's a treehouse platform behind us because my inner kid told me to and my children told me to. There's the garden. And oh my word, it's a mess. And I don't know how I'm ever going to kill all those weeds. I think some of them I'm just going to rip out. I'll probably, what I'll end up doing is weed whacking them so that they're at least shorter. And then I'll just try to put cardboard down as much as I can get. I'll rip up the rest of the weeds, like till them or something. And then I'll just cover it with compost next season when the snow melts. This is our old footage of the well house and workshop space. So when you went in, it was just covered in straw, straw thrown everywhere. And it was dirty, it smelled awful, and you couldn't get into the workshop from the well house.
it was completely separate and uh, it looks clean but it was really nasty. This is the new footage of the well house and workshop. My father-in-law and husband put in new flooring all the way up to the holding tank. They put bathtub plastic all along the floor and then put insulation on top. They also uh, put insulation over the exposed tubing once they had removed all of the hay because it was just there was just hay thrown everywhere. Also, through this door, you weren't able to get into the workshop, so they cut out a space for you to be able to get in there so you wouldn't have to go all the way around to both doors. And then it looks messier than it did before, but it's uh, a lot cleaner. I mean, they swept the floor, and, and now it's just all of our stuff that needs to be organized. And by our stuff, I mean Kaylin's stuff needs to be organized. We are going to wrap up this uh, pressure tank, the blue pressure tank, in insulation. We also put insulation on both of the broken windows so that the heat can't escape, at least those ones. And you can't see from this angle, but the door to the workshop has a big piece of plywood covering it because it was just absolutely destroyed. Kaylin also put some insulation right there along that wall. They had just kind of covered it up with these flimsy pieces of board, like five of them. So he put up insulation instead. I repurposed this built-in box for my chicken feed so critters can't get into it. And I have this bookshelf for chicken stuff that I'm not using. Look at that. Not that one. That one's that one. too red. The one next to it. Get the one next to it. <gasps> yes, that one. Hey. Are you going to save it or are you going to eat it? I am. Oh my goodness, you ate it. Is it yummy? Mm -hmm. Eat all the berries before mom picks it. <laughs> tree that was closest to the house but now it's allowed us to see all the way over there and it is just beautiful I cannot tell you how lucky and blessed we are to live here but it came with a lot of hard work, a lot of bad days that we had to push through with positivity because we've been wanting 
this for four years now since we left the Pacific Northwest in search of husband's higher education. So, and then his first job. And we didn't expect to be away from the Pacific Northwest that long. So to be here watching that is a testament to the power of positivity because I guarantee you I wouldn't have made it through all the stuff we've been through if I hadn't left behind my negativity because I was a very negative person four years ago. About three years ago, I said I can't be like this if I want to not just achieve my goals, but I can't be like this if I want to live. Because that wasn't living. That was moaning and groaning and lots of depression. And I'm not saying that depression isn't valid, a valid mental illness, because it is, and I've been diagnosed with it. But some of it is situational. I got on those meds when I needed to. But a lot of it was, for me specifically, just a change of mindset and determination. And of course, money. <laughs> and now we're here. Thank you all for watching. We'll see you on the next one.